Hello, welcome to the Craft Stash Live broadcast. I'm Jeanette Lane, your crafty host, and today we have an exciting show. It is Famous Faces and Names at Craft Stash. So you can see here next to me, we have Wallace and Gromit. So, so cute. So we have an exciting show planned for you. We have giveaways, demonstrations, really like lots of announcements to do. So lots of announcements <laughs> headed your way. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to tell you how to enter the giveaway in just a bit and also share what the giveaway prize is. There are three chances to win on air. So three lucky people are going to get some famous name bundles. So famous faces bundles, sorry. So let me uh, say hello to some people. Tell us where you're watching from. Um, tell us if you're having a brew. Hope you've had a good week. Hope nobody's poorly, although it's been like going around. So let's check into Facebook. Let's see where everybody is. All right, all right. So we have, I'm feeling ambitious today and we have some, um, just some great designs to share with you, but also uh, I've planned for three demos. Hopefully I can get to all of them but there's loads of things that we need to talk about, catch up on, <laughs> uh, and I'm not seeing us on Facebook, but I think, I think we're, here we are. There's no live, live thing on it. Okay. That's weird. So I can see us, but there's no like red live thing on Facebook. It's weird. Oh yeah. I mean, there's like, you know, like the red little button that says live. Oh, why isn't it showing up on mine? Look. Weird. Anyway, I <laughs> uh, hope everyone's doing good. We have Gemma Goodall watching. Hello, Alicia Rimmel, Lynn Clifton. Hi, hi. Carol Lewis. Hello. She says, uh, hi, everyone. Have had a good day so far. It gets better over the next hour. Oh, that's wonderful news. Sue Barnes is watching from Lancashire. Kate Baker. Hello, Kate. Leslie Sharp, Mary Dietrich, Tracy Arnold. Hello, Melissa Dunham. Uh, is watching from Grand Rapids, Missouri. Nice. Good morning. It's very early for you. Marianne from Denmark. Hi, Don, Holly, Rena. Hello, hello. Catriona Knox, watching from Glasgow. Christine Howard is in Sheffield. Zanda, Jillian, Lorna. I wonder if some of you guys are neighbors. Sometimes I see the same, um, like the same uh, city names coming up. And let's say hello to some people on YouTube. If you haven't um, subscribed to our YouTube channel, now's a good time. And if you're on YouTube and you haven't liked our Facebook page, take advantage of this moment. <laughs> so to, uh, we have those uh, three prizes up for grabs that I mentioned, I will tell you what they are, but to um, enter to win the prizes, all you have to do is leave a comment throughout the broadcast. And also there's another way to enter on the Facebook post that was posted earlier this week. So if you head to the craft stash page and enter there, you can also, um, enter the prize draw. So just leave a comment either on the Facebook post or also on air during the broadcast comment as many times as you want. And we will announce the three winners at the end. Ooh, hello, Julie. Uh, Mary Smith says, hello, everyone. First time for ages watching live. Mary Smith, I hope you've been well. Amanda Little, Charlie P, Sue Pollock, Jean K from Nevada. Wow, awesome. Uh, Rose O'Connell is watching from Queensland, Australia. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Oh no, Charlie P is poorly. Hope you feel better soon, Charlie. And Pooja, Sue. Elaine, Victoria, hello. Okay, I'm, I need to keep, I just like to say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop now. So, famous uh, names at Craft Stash. So we have a few brands which are um, licensed, licensed products. So the first one we have here to share is Wallace & Gromit. So you might have seen these dye designs and embossing folders and stamps. Uh, early, I think it was earlier this week that they were released. So that's why we have our little Wallace and Gromit here. But there are um, different characters that we wanted to share with you. We might have to do this on the close-up. Shauna, if that's all right. So we have Sean the sheep. So cute. So these are uh, dyes that you um, die cut your different colors to create your sheep, your Sean the sheep. And I'm going to show you how these work in a demonstration. So cute. And then we have this one. 
little fluffles from Wallace and Gromit. So cute. Let us know if you love Wallace and Gromit, which one your favorite. Um, what is it, episode? No. Favorite video? Favorite? Is it? Were they films? They were like short films, huh? So which one's your favorite? I think mine is the, the one with the penguin. <laughs> this one, Feathers McGraw. That one is brilliant. So nice. So you can uh, die cut these or dies to build these characters. And then we have Paella, who is a villain. I didn't see that coming. And then we have an embossing folder with the <laughs> fish here. So cute. That's for, I think that's for um, Feathers McGraw. And then a tea cup and mug embossing folder. Beautiful. And then this one's so cute with the bones. Bone background. So if you use the Wallace and, um, sorry, the Gromit die set, uh, you can build your die, or build your little Gromit, and then add that to your card front. So nice. And then we also have a um, stamp set with some with some uh, sentiments, which I can't do the accent, but I'll just read them. <laughs> Kraken job, happy birthday, old chum. Happy birthday, time for tea, cheese, grommet, 100% genuine, and silly old pooch. And then of course we have grommet, and then I'm gonna be uh, demonstrating how to assemble, how to build our, sorry, Wallace. And I'm gonna be showing in my demo how to assemble and build our little grommet. So I'll show you that later. Careful there. Hope you're loving that. So we have a special offer going on right now. It is the um, famous faces offer. And sorry, I got to read my notes. If you spend over 18 pounds on any of the famous names or faces that we're going to share today, um, I'll specify which ones are part of the offer. So if you spend over 18 pounds on famous faces, you'll get 20% off with the code FAM10. So part of that, FAM20, sorry, FAM20. <laughs> and so part of that, uh, offer, you'll be able to grab some Wallace and Gromit products, which is really cool. And next we have another famous face, which is Father Christmas by Raymond Briggs, which I showed these on High Chanda. Um, so we have these stamp and die combos from Raymond Briggs' Father Christmas from the famous uh, films from, I think it was the 90s they came out, I believe. They're so cute. So you can build your Father Christmas. And again, you can mix and match any of the um, famous names, which I will mention and specify uh, which ones will be part of the offer. So you can get some Father Christmas, stock up on your Wallace and Gromit if you'd like. And then we have this one, which has fallen apart. Give me one second to put it together. It hasn't fallen apart, it just slid off, slid off the backing. I don't know how to put it together now. <laughs> so this is the Father Christmas uh, stamp and die set. And this one shows him um, going over the rooftops. So you get stamp and dies, coordinating stamps and dies. There we go, fixed it. So there you can see the little rooftop chimney, the moon. We've got Father Christmas on a sleigh, and then we have the coordinating outline dies, and you can build a beautiful um, scene with those stamps there if you do some stamp masking. Very nice. And then we also have uh, embossing folders along with that. So this one is the rooftop embossing folder. Nice, and then we have this one, which is Santa, I'm sorry, Father Christmas on his armchair. So that is also part of the Famous Names offer. So with the code FAM20, you can get 20% off when you spend over 18. So Father Christmas. And let me show you some of the inspiration using the Father Christmas designs, which is really nice from our design team. So this one is from Sam Clayton. So she made like this kind of like a diorama. So nice. Again, using that Father Christmas. And I, I love how she masked this little uh, neighborhood downstairs. So the stamp set is just these two. I think these two. And then she masked and made a whole little row of 
rooftop, whole row of homes. So it's just so pretty. Well done, Sam. And then I made this one inspired by Sam's card to build an even bigger neighborhood. And then we have our Father Christmas going overhead. This one is also from Sam, I believe, Sam Clayton. And there we have, she's used the embossing folder and also um, the die and stamp combo with Father Christmas on his armchair reclining. So nice. You can do some nice decoupage with this set. So there I've used the embossing folder. You can kind of see that embossing, but then you can decoupage your Father Christmas on his recliner and his little armchair. Another one from Sam Clayton, she made like this kind of a pop-up box here. So it's flat, you can mail it flat. But then she made this beautiful scene with the chimney tops, which is so lovely. And then we have one more also by Sam and she used the embossing folder, Father Christmas embossing folder with the snowy, snowy background. I love that, so nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, another famous, <laughs> another famous uh, face and name at Craft Stash and also worldwide is Tim Holtz. So I wanted to show you two of Tim's dies because some of his, uh, some of Tim Holtz dies are part of the famous uh, faces offer. So head to the website, you can mix and match if you want a Tim Holtz die and also some Walls and Gromit or some Father Christmas and you can mix and match and get that 20% discount if you spend over 18 pounds, which I think is an incredible deal. So these are Tim's colorized dies, which I've seen a lot of you have the snowman design at, um, I saw it on Craft Stash chat, and you guys are loving it. And then if you remember this one, it was, um, I think Pete Hughes did a demo for us when he was here. So beautiful dies. Tim Holtz, famous face, famous name. See, so that's part of that special offer. All right. So let's see. Everybody, I hope everybody's loving the Father Christmas. Barbara Drake says, that snowman is super cute. I've never seen one like that. Crafty Alley creates. I love anything Tim Holtz. Yeah, pretty much the same. I have the same sentiment. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Okay. Let's switch over to Facebook. Kenny Swinford says that, um, I love all those cards. Cheryl Thomas, love the snowman die. Joan Murphy, so many lovely things to choose from. Yep. <laughs> Lord Bell, love Tim's snowman. Yes, absolutely. Now the next, um, famous name at Craft Stash. It's for a good cause, which we're really excited about too. We were able to partner with RSPB, which is the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, to bring you some beautiful stamps, some beautiful dies that coordinate, and 10% of the profits for the RSPB um, stamp and dies will go to the charity. So that's really exciting to have like crafting for a good cause. So we have some inspiration for these as well. Let me just kind of run through. Ooh, I might have to show, no, just kidding. I won't. I'm gonna show this on the close up. So there are um, the spring birds here. Ooh, there's a glare. Sorry about that. So we have the spring bird stamp and die, uh, outline die set. So you get the stamps and the little dies as well. And I'm missing some of the dies for that, but no worries. And then we have the autumn birds. So it's a collection of like seasonal birds. So you get, I really like this one a lot because it allows you to create spooky designs like autumnal designs, like maybe even some Halloween designs if you'd like. So there's that set, autumn birds, summer birds, and there's also a winter birds set, which I'm going to use uh, for one of my demonstrations. So we will get to that in just a bit. Now I believe RSPB is also part of the FAM20 uh, offer. So make sure you are able to take advantage of that. And then we have um, the A4 size stamp set. So this is jam packed. 
with beautiful stamps and sentiments. And then we have the coordinating die set as well that coordinates with the stamps. Now there are additional dies par uh, as part of the RSPB collection, which I forgot to bring with me, but I have one of them in my demo. I don't know what happened to my dies. And I have loads and loads and loads of inspiration to show you. Sorry, it's a little, gonna be a little loud for a second. Forgot to take these out of the bag. All right, here we go. So this is using the RSPB Autumn Birds die set and stamp set. So you can make kind of like a some semi spooky. Does this card make you feel spooky, Shauna? No? All right, that's good. <laughs> you could also just use the stamps in the set to create something very clean and simple. We have a beautiful card from Anne Melvin as well using the autumnal, sorry, autumn birds die set and stamp set. And then this one doesn't have a name. Oh, I think this is Gwen Fletcher. Well done, Gwen. Here's one that I did using the Winter Birds uh, set, which I think is my favorite one. There's so much that you can do with this one. So I created a little wreath. I have my little robin there. Another one from Gwen Fletcher. Stunning. So again, you can build uh, like little scenes with the RSPB dies and stamps. And then we have one from Ann Melvin. And then this one is the summer bird. So we have a little kingfisher there. So cute. And back to the winter birds. Oops. Some other designs with the winter birds. And again, you can uh, craft for a good cause. 10% of the profits from the RSPB collection will be given to a charity. So to back to the RSPB. So this one's from Gwen Fletcher. I think this is the Spring Birds. And we have some more. You can build a little like birdhouse. So cute. We have some great inspiration. I really love this one. This one I made on Hachanda. It's using the Summer Birds and it's just a really easy card. Very simple, very uh, effective. Here's another one I made on Hachanda. And then one more with the Autumn Birds. So such a versatile collection, like there's so much you can do. Crafting like different cards for all year round. Very helpful. So that's RSPB. So again, that's part of the uh, FAM 20 offer. Exciting things. And we also have uh, cuddly characters, which you rem might remember from last year. Uh, or was it the year before? I can't remember now. I think it was last year these were released. So we have them. They've been really popular. So we brought them back and we might have to show this on the top down just because we have so many Shona. <laughs> so we have, I'll show the cards on the close up. So we have um, a Robin and you can build these really cute, chubby, cuddly characters, a penguin, a reindeer, the gingerbread man, the Santa, the snowman. The polar bear, the elf, the angel. And these are just so fun. A little pudding. Oh no, it got discombobulated. Sorry about that. Oh, I think I already mentioned the snowman. How huh? are we repeating here? I don't know if I already said the snowman. The polar bear, the Santa, and we're back to the robin and the elf. Oh, these are just duplicates. So lots of cuddly characters to pick from. I don't know if you're still doing your Christmas cards. Uh, but we have some great inspiration because these cuddly characters are great for tags. I think this one was made by Claire Rogers. So cute. And then we have the little figgy pudding. Not figgy pudding, the Christmas pudding. I want figgy pudding now. Beautiful. And these cards were made by Ruth McCartan and Claire Rogers and myself. So they're just really nice. So beautiful, you can see these cuddly characters are so cute and so chubby and so fun and festive. These would be great for like children's cards, Christmas cards as well. So it comes with all the pieces to, uh, you die cut them and then you build your little character. This one is, oh, I made this one and this is a birthday card because while it's for Christmas, you don't have to necessarily make a polar bear. You can make a little brown bear and just use it as a birthday card. That bear is so cute. 
<laughs> he kills me. Which one's your favorite cuddly character, Shauna? Do you have one? Is it the... The penguin. She loves the penguin. And then we have our Santa. Another one here with the reindeer. I think uh, Claire made... No, I think Ruth made this one. Ruth McCartan. And then we have that one with the snowman, which was really fun to create that. I, was, I mean, the stamp set is not included, but I remember that card was really fun to make. <laughs> and then we have the angel again. Another uh, Christmas pudding. The reindeer. And then we have the other version of the bear, which is a white polar bear. Another Christmas Robin, so cute. So again, if you spend over 18 pounds on any of the famous faces that I've mentioned here, so Wallace and Gromit, uh, Tim Holtz, RSPB, Father Christmas, or Cuddly Characters, uh, you can uh, save, sorry, you can get 20% off with the code FAM20, so FAM20. Such fun cards. I wish I could take all these cards home with me and then be done with all of my Christmas cards. <laughs> that would be awesome. Are you making Christmas cards, Shauna? Do you make Christmas cards? No. Too stressful. <laughs> Just because it's too stressful to make them. It is if you have a lot to make. <laughs> I think it could be a little stressful. I like that one. That one's with the snowman. And then the penguin. That is really cute, Shauna. You're right. I love it. I hope you love the cuddly characters. Or maybe you already have the cuddly characters from last year and you're busy crafting with them as well. Okay. What else do we have? Did I show RSPB? I did. Cool. So, on to some uh, announcements. Oh, no. oh, yeah. I don't know why I put my phone so far from me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Catriona, I hope I'm saying your name right. She says that her first ever dies were Tim Holtz, the tattered poinsettia, and that you love his. Uh, she loves his Christmas ranges. Julie Shear says four year old great nephew would love doing his cards with these. She's talking about the cuddly characters. Jenny says the snowman is so cute. Lorraine loves them all. And Kenny Swinford says, you're all so talented. They really are. The design team is great. So I wanted to announce the giveaway prize. So for the giveaway, we have the Father Christmas. Sorry, I have so much product on my desk. So the Father Christmas die set uh, and rooftops embossing folder bundle. So you're going to get this one. And then the coordinating rooftop bundle, sorry, rooftop embossing folder, which is here, it's stuck to the top, sorry. So you get that one and that one. And then you also get the Father Christmas in his armchair, time to relax. So you're gonna get that one. And then the coordinating embossing folder for that. So that is one of our prizes. Father Christmas bundle. Our second prize is the RSPB uh, Winter Birds. So you're gonna get the Winter Birds, which I haven't shown because I'm gonna do a demonstration with them and you'll see them all in just a bit. Uh, you're also going to get the Spring Bird Habitat with the coordinating dies that I don't have, but you can find them on. I don't have with me, but you can find them on the website. So it's gonna be the Spring Birds, the Winter Birds, the Summer Birds, the Autumn Birds, Ooh, we can get the whole thing. RSPB, that's amazing. So that's gonna be a great prize. So besides the stamp sets, it's gonna be the coordinating dies, which I forgot to bring. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so that's the RSPB prize. And then our last prize is going to be the Wallace and Gromit bundle. So you're gonna get the Gromit die and the bones embossing folder. I'm going to demo how to build your Gromit in just a bit and you'll see that die then. And then we also have the Feathers McGraw die and fish embossing folder bundle. So that's also for you. That's so lucky. I really want the Wallace and Gromit dies. And then um, the Wallace die with the teapot embossing folder and the Paella and Fluffles die bundle. So you are going to get some awesome Wallace and Gromit dies. You're so lucky. That's gonna be great. So that was our famous faces uh, 
products in the special offer going on, which I'm gonna repeat it one more time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so if you spend over 18 pounds on any of these famous names, you can mix and match. Maybe you want some Tim Holtz, maybe you want a cuddly character, or maybe you want the Wallace and Gromit dies, then you can, um, if you spend over 18 pounds on those, any of those, you can get 20% off with the code FAM20, FAM20 which I think is awesome. And to enter the giveaway, uh, all you have to do is just leave a comment. Enter as many times as you want. Uh, it's open worldwide. So just leave a comment on the live broadcast, so either on Facebook or YouTube, or also there is an additional way to enter on that Facebook post on the Craft Stash page. Becky Holidays says some great, great prizes today. Yay, I'm so glad. Don Brady says, Wallace and Gromit are so cute. I remember watching the first film, The Wrong Trousers. It's so great. I, I love it. I love Wallace and Gromit so much. Me and my husband watch it uh, regularly. We always have to have like tea and cheese <laughs> when we watch. <laughs> it's really fun. It's a really fun, uh, some fun films. Now, another um, famous name at Craft Stash uh, is, this one isn't part of the famous names, uh, famous faces offer, but we just wanted to mention it because it's a card making collection kit from Chloe and Dean, stamps by Chloe. So this is a crafting kit. It's packed, it's a dragonfly dream themed. So it's packed with papers and dies and stamps. So that's available on Craft Stash and there's no special offer on that because it's already at a great price, $12.99. So you get papers, beautiful papers. These are very, they feel very like springtime and light and airy and fun. And then we have, you also get um, dies in a boxy folder. Yeah, so you get the dragonfly dies, which partially die cut into your card and then you fluff up the dragonfly wings and it makes like three dimensional wings. So nice. And then you get an embossing folder, a really fun stencil, which you can kind of see the design there. Maybe not. <laughs> there it is. I'm not going to try to do that. Sorry, the stamps. <laughs> and then you also get uh, an ideas magazine. So jam packed with projects for how to use your, uh, everything included in the kit. So $12.99 for this puppy. This is not part of the famous faces or famous names, but we just have to share that with you because it's incredible value, $12.99 for all of this kit. I'm not gonna try to put it back right this second. Also another famous name is, and we're really excited about our next um, Paper Craft Society designer, featured designer. And you'll be able to see the full reveal of the Paper Discovery box, which is the next box uh, by Olga Direktorenko. So we're really excited. There is Olga. I don't know if you remember when she was here this summer to do our Facebook Live with us. It was so much fun. So that is, I think you can sign up for that. And the deadline is December 21st to receive the paper discovery box, which has a super duper magical uh, treat that you need to watch that uh, reveal video to see what's inside because you're going to be blown away by what's inside of the box. Okay, I hope you are all entering that giveaway. Enter, enter, enter. And we are going to do our first demo. Demo time. I forgot to get a die cutting machine, so give me one second. So I should have, should have mentioned that earlier, Shauna. Oh. Where is my... Which die cutting machine to use? Don't mind me. <laughs> I use a big shot. So we're gonna, uh, I want to assemble the, build the grommet from the Wallace and Gromit dies, which are really fun. I love Wallace and Gromit. So you're gonna need some cardstock in grommet colors, which you can use the guide on the front. There he is, he's so cute, <laughs> I love it. So I found some like browns and grays and kind of like a beige. So we're going to die cut all of the pieces inside. Just so you can see how it all works. How it all comes together. 
So here are the dies. I believe these might be already like coordinated so that you only have to die cut them from that particular color. So that's what the dies look like. And then we will build our little grommet. So cute. Okay. So let me set these here. And the die cutting machine I'm using today is a Sizzix Big Shot. So I don't know where my fold away went. It's probably, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to grab this one. So this is his face, his legs, his front legs and his hind legs. So we're gonna do that from this kind of beigey color. So we'll run that through. And I'm thinking you could probably build two of these at once by just die cutting two papers at the same time. So I'm trying to find my adhesive so we can build him as we go along. And we need to put him on like a really, let's use this, this yellow here so we can, um, so we can see him come to life. So this is his little head. There it is. And then his arms go there. His front, front legs, his arms, and his hind legs go like that. And that's from Beige. I really think this is so helpful how they have um, put the dies together so that you know exactly where like what needs to be cut. So they're just kind of like fused together so you don't have to, you know, oh, where's the, where's the little face? It's all loose, I need to cut them from this color. It's all just kind of fused together, designed that way so that you can easily assemble a little grommet as he comes to life. I really wish I could read comments at the same time. So here we have the Kind of like the the inner sh shape of his face inner shape of his face i don't know if that's what you would call it and it also creates uh the embossing of the eyes like where the eyes are going to go and we have his little highlight for his hind legs it's kind of like a highlight so it builds really dimensional oops is it this one? No, oh, I don't know which one it is. Oh, I think that's his knees. Hmm. All right. Or is it his ears? I don't know. Let's go to, let's move to die cutting his ears. Next. So we have his, ooh, no, sorry. These are his ears. Sorry, guys. So then we have his ears there. So cute. And then I want to add just um, kind of like a light, light tan highlight to his ears. I'm sorry, his nose, his nose. I need black, I don't have black. I don't think I have, have black, Shauna. I'm real sad about that. We will make do with the brown for his eyes. So we have his nose there. And then the eyes. Oh no, I lost one of the eyes. <laughs> I lost one of the eyeballs. I need to cut another one. Do you guys, oh no, never mind, I found it. Do you guys ever lose the eyes? The little eyeballs, and then we need some white. So let me grab some extra white cardstock over here. We need some white for his eyes.
sorry guys. One second. And you want to make sure, don't lose these dies so maybe we get a magnetic sheet so that you don't lose all the little pieces. <laughs> he looks so funny right now, but he's going to come to life. I just know it. There's the white of his eyes. Let me move his little pupils out of the way. I like it because you can um, glue them down, the little dark like pupils. You can glue them down for him to <laughs> be rolling his eyes, which he often does. <laughs> it's really funny. There it is. That is so, so cute. Okay. And then there's also a coffee mug die, a tea mug die. So you can add that. <laughs> so cute. That's adorable. Um, did we cut all of these? I think we did. Yeah, I believe we did. Okay, so I think we can start gluing them down. We need, oh, that's what it was. Sorry guys, I thought it was a, a highlight. It's his body. I wonder if any of you are saying that in the comments. Like, that's not his head, that's his body. Oh, I should have cut his face from that color too. Hmm. Good call, good call. What color was that? Shana, did I ask you your favorite character? Wallace and Gromit character? Yeah, same. He's so sensible and so smart. And don't forget that you can still enter, enter, enter that giveaway. All right. I wonder if this is his little I wish we had Claire here because she is on the product development team now and she can tell us what those dies are for because <laughs> I don't um, play with all of the dies, just some of them. Okay, so now we're going to glue our little grommet together. So you probably want to use like a really, um, oh geez, a fine tip, fine tip like glue glue bottle so that you don't do that, what I just did. And then we're gonna pick up our little eyeballs, put them there. There he is. And then we'll add his little pupils. I'm like concentrating, picking these up. Sorry if I'm quiet. <laughs> there it is. So cool. And then we're, oh gosh. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Why does everything go wrong sometimes on these live broadcasts? I'm not sure. So then we'll add his ears. Oh, I think his ears go behind his head. He's got really, really big ears. I don't think I realized how big they were till just now. So we'll glue the ears on the back. Sorry, just flipping it over. <laughs> He's so cute. Add some adhesive there for his nose. There he is. There's that little guy. He's coming to life. So cute. And then we have his little body there. So I'll add a little adhesive here. Also, while you're watching me glue this, I should probably 
make a few more announcements since we are here. So next Friday is Black Friday and we are going to have some amazing deals on Craft Stash as always. So make sure to check out the website every single day next week, starting on Monday for some amazing Black Friday deals. And of course, it'll um, culminate on Black Friday. And because we know you're gonna be busy shopping away, <laughs> trying to find the best deals at the stores, getting your Christmas shopping done, we are not gonna have a Friday uh, broadcast next week. However, on Wednesday, so next Wednesday, ooh, I don't know the date, the exact date, but Wednesday at 1 p.m., we're going to have a special Facebook Live broadcast with a special guest, Helen Colebrook of Everyday Journaling. So make sure you can um, make some time, put it on your diary so that you can uh, watch that broadcast. Of course, there will be demonstrations and prizes. So that will be great. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's making me laugh as I put it together. It's so cute. So that'd be cool if you just like did that. <laughs> That's so cute. My husband would die. He would just love this. I need to get that for him for Christmas. Oh my goodness. That's too, too cute. Okay. He finished putting his legs. I think these are the um, the um, the drink because it's spilling. It's not part of this body. I thought it was, but it's not. Um, so yeah. So anyway, what was, what was I saying? So Facebook. We're gonna add his likes. So uh, Facebook Live next Friday will not be happening because you're gonna be busy shopping, shop shopping for all those deals. So uh, instead, you can watch on Wednesday. Uh, 1 p.m. Demos and prizes with Helen Colebrook of Everyday Journaling. Ooh, this, this hind leg is, I need to glue that on the back. Because it's giving me troubles. Let us know if you have these dies and if you're gonna get them. The Wallace and Gromit, they're so cute. I would definitely get Wallace and Gromit and then add another, add another one from the famous names. Maybe some Tim Holtz. I do like that colorized snowman die set. It's really nice. I feel like I'm not getting his legs right. Like they're not in the right spot. Should I move them down? No, I don't know. I think maybe I put his arms too, too far apart. I think they're closer to his body. <laughs> He's so cute. I can't even, can't even look at him. This makes me laugh. I <laughs> have his little mug there. <laughs> oh God, that's delightful. Let me show that on the close up. So the other dies are going to build um, the rest of the characters. So there's Payala, there is F was it Fluffles, uh, Gr uh, Wallace, and then Sean the Sheep. <laughs> ah, so cute, I can't stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> I hope you like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was some cool dies there. I will get back to Claire and ask her what those additional dyes were. They look like coffee, like coffee skills. I thought they were gonna be the highlights of his little um, legs, but they were not. You can switch back to the main camera, Shauna, as I clean up this demo mess. I hope you like that. Um, Julie says, cute, LOL, you're having too much fun, Jeanette. I know. <laughs> It's just so cute. Like it just gets cuter and cuter as, as you build him. Cause you see his his little personality come to life. So some super cute, cute die sets from Walt and Gromit. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put that somewhere. I should make him like a little pin. That's adorable. 
Don't lose that. I really want that one. All right, so I have, that took, that took a little bit of time. I do apologize. So I have one, I had three demos planned, but I only have time for one. So I'm going to make a, um, I'm gonna use the RSPB Winter Birds because I absolutely, absolutely love that set. And I think it's really versatile and there's so much that you can do with it. So here is the Winter Habitat die set. So each, each uh, seasonal bird stamp, bird, bird stamp combo, stamp and die combo. Also, there are these additional dies available. So this is the Winter Habitat um, die set that you can also get. And let me find my winter birds. There they are. Hello, little birds. So that is the winter birds RSPB stamp and die combo that I forgot to share earlier because it was in my demo box. All right, so for this one, I'm going to build a quick colorful background. So I have a card blank here, A6 size, and I'm gonna grab my Distressed Inks. Now what I love about the Winter Birds uh, stamp set is that you can really do like any color in the background and either make it like a winter card or an all occasion card like for any year or a very Christmassy card which I think is great because you always want like versatility in your stamp and dies because you want to be able to make lots of things with your stash. So I have a little mat here, craft mat so I don't make a mess. Okay. And I'm gonna grab my, my inks. So let's see, which one do we want for a background? <laughs> green, blue, let's go with the green. I'm feeling the green. So this is mowed lawn. And there's an accidental like stray little bead there on my um, ink blending tool, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Like I want to do that tall with them. It just looks so fun. Okay, so this is a Mode Lawn Distress Ink. And I'm just going to add some of this color in the background, kind of work it onto the border of my card front. Now, um, like I mentioned, you can do this with different colors and kind of get a completely different feel and mood for your card. If I had red, I would have done like a really Christmassy background. But I'm happy with this, and I'm only concentrating the color on the edges of my card front, just because I'm going to build the, like a little wild garden scene with the Winter Habitat uh, die set. So, we're just getting this nice and inky, and we're gonna do some tone on tone stamping. I feel like tone and tone stamping is just a great, an easy way to build a card background. So all you do is kind of put some color down and then stamp your stamp, whatever stamp you're going to use in the same color, in the same tone. And it just gives it a nice, just something different to do, another idea of what you can do with your card background. So just adding that color around. I'm not doing a very good job with the blending but I don't mind. I think that'll, that'll do. It kind of gives us a little nice frame there to work with. And then I'm gonna grab my stamp. Um, I will do the Just Flying by to say hi. I also have some cardstock just stored on the back of this because I know these colors work for like the um, I should have put the cardstock in the die set, sorry. But it works for the plants and the greenery, so if I have scraps, I'll just put them, store them with my die set so I can just reach for them. So that's an option if you want to store your scraps that way, just a few little scraps, because some of these dies are really good for using up your scraps because they're on the smaller side. Save your scraps, do something with them. 
All right, so I'm going to mount my stamp. Oops, upside down. So this says, just flying by to say hello. So we're going to ink up our stamp. Now, I find that distress inks are not the best inks to stamp with because the ink kind of beads and it kind of just beads on the stamps and it makes it a little bit, it just, it's not as crisp and clear as with an other, another type of ink. So I don't recommend stamping with distress inks in particular because you're not going to get a very nice and crisp and clear impression, but they are great for this technique for just like tone on tone stamping because we're going to build like a wild garden scene and it can be a little wild. Your stamping can be a little wild. <laughs> what does wild stamping look like? I don't know. <laughs> what would wild stamping be? Anyway, just some <laughs> random thoughts. Okay. And then you could also do some second generation stamping. So if I stamp that once, don't ink up my ink pad. I mean, don't ink up the uh, stamp again, then I can stamp again and get like a faint, just a more faint kind of image. So I will do that henceforth. I'll get two from that and I can even just stamp right on top of my other stamp. It doesn't have to be perfectly like beautiful or symmetrical. It can be a little artsy fartsy. Yeah, so go wild, go wild with your stamping. <laughs> oh, I wish I could read your comments about what that would look like going wild with stamping. Um, Cause I'm sure you guys are so funny and fun. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm feeling good about my stamping. I could be here all day stamping away, this is so fun. All right, so now it is time to build our wild garden scene. I need to build it in record time. So we have our die sets. And Shauna helped me to prep this demo yesterday. Was it your first time die cutting, Shauna? Yeah. So um, she's helped me with some of the <laughs> some of the die cutting, but I'm going to die cut once one of them. So we might need an extra little pot, but she die cut all the greenery for me. So thank you so much, Shauna, for that. How did you like die cutting? Was it scary? A little bit. <laughs> she said it was a little scary. It was her first time die cutting. She thought she was going to break the machine. What else? What else? What other thoughts do you have about die cutting? Would you do it again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I've die cut my little pot. It's so cute, my little terracotta pot. And now I'm going to use all of the greenery that Shauna helped me die cut. She die cut yesterday for me. Really appreciate that, Shauna. We've been very busy. Preparing for Black Friday. Don't forget, next week is uh, Black Friday special deals on Craft Stash, and there won't be a live broadcast because you're gonna be busy shopping and Christmas shopping, getting those deals at the store, standing in long queues. Okay, so here we have the greenery that Shauna die cut for us. Thank you, Shauna. So you get the ivy and just some additional greenery um, for um, our little scene. So there's a little terracotta plant. And I thought it would be a good idea to put these on a piece of um, acetate, but it didn't work. So I've cut some of these beforehand and I had the glue on them on the back already just to kind of save time. It didn't work though. It was too sticky. All right, so we have our little lens in our pots. Now we can build our scene. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then with these, you can either build a bird bath, or um, so if you um, build a bird bath, it has, um, you can, where is it? Sorry, sorry. It has this guy to build your bird bath on top. So if you did this and then added that additional die on top, or it could also be the, the 
water catcher on the plant that goes underneath it. So I'm going to um, stack my does like this upside down to just give, fill, fill my card more, just a little bit more. I have all my little plants now. Pot, pots of plants, pot, pots, not potted plants. And then we can add our greenery, our ivy throughout. We're just gonna put it everywhere because that's how ivy is. It just grows all over the place. And Shauna used two different shades of green to give us some depth, some dimension, some interest. And I think this is just a really nice set, honestly. And I have die cut, I've colored and die cut my little Robin stamp, which is also part of the uh, die set, stamp and die set. So we'll put some of the greenery on the ground. This is also a very snippable die. there. Maybe add some of these sprigs, sprigs, leafy greens, leafy branches. Um, Al Alicia says, love this, so simple. Kenny Swinford says, that ivy is perfect. <laughs> it is. Uh, Lauren Bell says she would put three flower pots in a row with a bird flying down to the flowers. That's a great idea. I love that. Ooh, should we put more here? I don't know. See, you can just have so much fun building your wild background, your wild garden scene. Okay, so we'll add that there. And then we can add our bird, a little robin. Kind of put him there on top of the planter. And I'm going to use some foam tape. This is the Craft Stash foam tape which I love because the release paper is so easy to remove. And it also holds really well. So we'll add them there. And then we can add our sentiment. Just kind of put it right there. And my sentiment is also from the stamp set. It says, Robins appear when loved ones are near. And let's add some foam tape to the back of that too. We will double it up. So I'm just folding the foam tape in on itself. Tucking it kind of behind that little grassy die there. Add some dimension and then we're gonna add some, you can add some um, clear gloss. This is Anita's clear gloss. It acts very much like um, like Tim Holtz, no, sorry, Ranger uh, Glossy Accents. So we wanted to add that. Um, I want to add some sparkle to this. So I have, ooh, let's do, let's do yellow. So I have some gemstones here and my adhesive. And Shauna, can you remind me if I have forgotten to mention anything? <laughs> I don't think so, huh? I think I got it all. So proud. I love these little gemstones. I love, this is the Anita's gemstone wheel available on Craft Stash. And I love this thing because it comes with so many little gemstones and then they're all nicely organized. This is definitely one of my craft staples. I need this always in my life. I hope you guys have enjoyed these demos. I can't really see the comments, so I'm sorry I'm not chit-chatting with you. But um, don't forget, you can still enter that giveaway. Just leave a comment. Any comment will do, and you will win one of the three prize bundles. Up for grabs. Ooh, that's fun. All right, I'm happy with that. And then if you want to add some kind of these, these dry, like, dimensional, so they'll kind of look, um, they're kind of like dimensional clear drops. Always check it beforehand. You want to let these air dry. And these can be like little raindrops or little dew drops. Let them air dry. Don't touch them. Don't put your fingers on them. Put it, keep them out of reach and let them dry for at least 
20 minutes. Don't put your finger in them. <laughs> when I used to work at um, Sizzix in the States, my brilliant coworker, Wendy Kesky, one of the best crafters I've ever met in my whole life, most talented crafters, she had a beautiful card and she added glossy accents, so something very much like this to her card front on a red balloon, and I was like, oh, this is sparkly, and stuck my finger in it. And of course, ruined her card. <laughs> she was a good sport about it, because it was only like my, maybe my third day at Sizzix. <laughs> good times. So there is my card. Looks a little wild, but I like it. It's fun, and then you can see the little drops there that I made with the Anita's Clear Gloss and make sure to keep that out of reach until it sets and you also want to uh, let it dry flat because it might uh the like gravity might just kind of pull pull down and ruin that roundness of the drop that was fun i hope you like that i really like that thank you thank you for watching let's see norma reed says love your robin card Tracy Arnold, my Christmas list is getting bigger and bigger. Lauren Jane Hunter, beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. Jennifer McMullen's fabulous card. Jeanette, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, Lorraine Farmer says that she loves the drops. Can you let us know what they are? Yeah, so they're Anita's Clear Gloss Drops. Those are on the Craft Stash website, I think. And yeah, thank you very much for your patience throughout that uh, grommet demo. That was the first time using me using those dies. So uh, thank you. I really appreciate it so, so much. And I hope you have all entered that giveaway. Ooh, we are running a little late. So sorry, guys. So sorry. Uh, Nicole C says uh, her dad would love that card. Yeah, I feel like that garden scene card, it's, it's good for like masculine makes as well as feminine makes. Plus it's RSPB so that you can, 10% um, of the profits will go to RSPB. So crafting for a good cause. <laughs> Susan Klein says, your demos are a treat. Rena Hurst, love your hosting, it's always fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, I, I always get really nervous when it's just me, so really, really appreciate you guys you watching, watching and then all your kind, kind comments. Uh, we have a really nice time, always. And now it's time to announce our winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> okay, so our winners. So the first winner is going to win, first winner is going to win the Father Christmas Bundle. Famous names, if you are a winner, please send us a private Facebook message with your mailing address or you can email me, Jeanette, at craftstash.co.uk. So our first winner of the Father Christmas Bundle, so you get the stamps, the dies, and the embossing folders, is Leslie Sharp. Congratulations. So great. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. And next we have the Wallace and Gromit set. So you're going to get the embossing folders and all the dies to build to your heart's content. That's so lucky. You're so lucky. I'm so jealous. And the winner of that prize bundle is Crafty Alley Creates. Well, well done. And... Our last winner of the um, RSPB. So you're gonna get the RSP B RSPB bundles, stamp and die bundles, plus the additional die set. All the die sets that coordinate with each of the seasonal stamps. So congratulations to Angharad Jane Locke. Congratulations to all of our winners. And um, yeah, so we will, um, yeah. Don't forget that next Friday we don't have our Friday broadcast because it's Black Friday. Make sure you head to Craft Stash instead. Take advantage of the famous faces and famous names deal so you can mix and match RSPB, Father Christmas, Wallace and Gromit, Tim Holtz or the Cubby characters and save uh, 20, sorry, get 20% off if you spend over 18 pounds on that. And Wednesday, 1 p.m., put it in your calendars, special guest, Helen Colebrook of Everyday Journaling. Wow, what a show. Jam-packed. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.